Okay, now we are going to be dividing, but the divisor is going to have a decimal point. So let's jump right in here, 82 and 84 hundredths, and we're dividing that by 7 and 6 tenths. So remember the divisor is the number that we are dividing by, 7 and 6 tenths in this case. But whenever you divide, your divisor has to be a whole number. So that means we need this decimal point to move to the end of the number to make it 76. When we move that decimal point one place to the right, that's the same as multiplying the number by 10, okay? So if we do that to the divisor, we have to do the same thing to the dividend in order to keep the values the same. So to go over that one more time, we had to move the decimal point to the end of the number to make this divisor a whole number. I had to move it one place for this problem. So I have to do the same thing in the dividend, move the decimal point one place. So now my decimal point is here and the problem is actually 828 and 4 tenths divided by 76. Okay, so like we talked about in the last video, you want to um, start out by moving that decimal point straight up into your quotient and then we're just going to go ahead and do our division like we've been doing it. So 76 can go into 82 one time, your 1 goes directly above the 2, then we multiply 1 times 76 is 76, go ahead and subtract, leaves me with 6, bring down your 8, 76 goes into 68 zero times, multiply, okay, and then we'll have 68 left over again, bring down the 4, 76 goes into 684, oh boy, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a lot, I'm gonna start with 9, let's multiply by 9 and see where that puts us, um, that would be 4, 63 plus 5 is 68. So that actually worked out perfectly. So 76 would go into 684 9 times. And we multiply, it's exactly 684, so we don't have anything left over now. So the quotient for this one is 10 and 9 tenths. Okay, we're going to do actually three examples where we have a decimal point and the divisor. So go along with me here. Okay, our second example that we're going to do, you can write this on your paper, 516 divided by 4 and 3 tenths. Okay, again, the divisor has to be a whole number, so we're going to multiply it by 10 or move the decimal point one place to the right. If I do it in my divisor, I have to do the same thing in the dividend. So my decimal point is currently here move it one place to the right, my new spot for the decimal point would be right there. We need to fill in our zero, move the decimal point straight up into your quotient, and now we're doing 5,160 divided by 43. Okay, 43 can go into 51 one time. We will subtract, and that leaves us with 86. 43 goes into 86 two times, okay, and that would be exactly, oh, I'm sorry, uh, that is exactly 86, okay, go ahead and subtract, there's nothing left over, but we have this zero here now, so we have to bring that down, 43 goes into zero, zero times, multiply, and then we are finished. Okay, so our quotient this time is 120. All right, go on to the third example. You're going to write this one on your paper. 261 and 3 tenths divided by 67 hundredths. All right, let's switch colors here. Let's go to red now. So for this one, looking at that divisor, it always needs to be a whole number. So this time, we actually need to move the decimal point two places in order to get it to the end of our number. That means we multiplied it by 100 this time instead of by 10. So if I move it two places in my divisor, I'm going to do the exact same thing in the dividend in order to keep things fair and equal. So now my decimal point is here. I'm going to move it straight up into my quotient. 
We'll scooch our line down here a little bit and we're ready to go ahead and divide. Okay, so 67 can't go into two or 26. We need to see how many times 67 can go into 261. Okay, so I'm gonna come off to the side here and do some work. I'm going to start with, oh, let's try four times. And so that's eight, carry the two, 24, 25, 26, boop. Okay, so four times is too many. That means I'm gonna go back to three times, 67 times three, 18, 19, 20. So that's 201. Okay, so I put my three above the one, I multiply three times 67, we get 201. Go ahead and subtract. That leaves me with 60 bring down the three. Okay, I know that it has to go in more than four times. So I'm gonna try 67 times, hmm. Oh, let's go with nine. It's gonna be three and six, so that's 54 and six. Awesome. Okay, so 67 goes into 603 nine times. When we multiply, we get exactly 603. So we subtract and have nothing but bring down that zero. 67 goes into zero, zero times. Multiply. We have nothing left over, so now we're finished. And our quotient is 390. Alrighty, guys. So go ahead and work on those next three problems on your paper.